Hello, what's up, people? Dr. Wilson's right here, and welcome to another Pokemon pack opening. It's the last Poke pack opening of the month! Oh, yes, people! Halloween is literally, I think, tomorrow, if I remember. Hopefully, you guys are gonna get yourself a lot of candy, a lot of sweeties, hopefully, no razor blades in your candy as well, or cyanide, or freaking hell, if you're a freaking insult from a creepy person. Hopefully, it's not filled with rocket no. <laughs> Anyhow, we're opening up. Palida Evolved Elite Trainer Box. Now, the reason why, I'm going to be honest with you people, I've not opened up Harley a lot of Palida Evolved. I'm actually not even going to probably buy Harley any of it because I'm not really interested in the set. It got super duply hyped because of one card only, and that was the waifu card, the one that's pretty much a YouTuber influ influencer. She was worth like over a thousand pound as a Japanese card. Now it's got reprint. Now it's got printed in the United Kingdom. It went from a 300, from a 1,000 pound card to a 300 pound card, all the way down now to a 30 pound card. That's the most expensive card in the set. A 30 pound card? Are you kidding me? So I went ahead and bought this one instead because it has the card that started the Scarlet and Violet set in Japan. This is the very first promo card you get in Japan. I've got this card. I might as well get the English version, just so I can say I have both. That's the only reason why I'm opening up this Elite Trainer box. Because I'm not interested in this set whatsoever. I really am not. I don't like it, to be honest. Some of the artwork is nice, but yeah. I'm waiting for the next set, the one with the Charizards. You guys know the, you know the gist of it. But let's open this up like we normally do. Lift up the box take out the goodies out we've got a load of boost packs here that will guarantee holographics which I still find stupid we've got ourselves some beautiful sleeves energies there's the card pop the box down in here put it over here nice to do now there is the promo card which we're gonna have a look at in a minute we'll move these to the side let's go and look at the book though we always like to look at the books together, people, because so we know what exactly is in this set. Hopefully there's nothing in here that's actually really worth my time to really pick up or something I actually do like. So, yeah, you get my gist. So let's move away from all these pages here and let's get to the actual page where the cards are. So here we go. So let's see what's in this set that catches my eye. So we got ourselves a Fortress EX. Okay, fair enough. Um, Masca... Um, the mascot cat EX, okay, that's cool. Uh, anything else? You got yourselves that Wu Chin EX is pretty much these mythical Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Didn't even even I didn't even go after him in the original game, so not even bothered with it. I do have this one. I pulled this out off camera. We got ourselves the Fire type there as well. We got ourselves our boy here, which is a good card as well. We got ourselves another one here. They're pretty much re relating to Chinese mythical Pokemon. Um, we got ourselves Pikachu EX, would probably be a very pricey card as well. It'd be good to pull. Uh, Belly Bolt EX, okay. Slow King, not really going to be worth anything, I doubt it. Did Dindidi, probably be worth something too. Anything else? Lincoln Rock here. We got Ting Lu's over here, another one of the mythicals. Um, that Quagsire type of Pokemon there. Anything else? Copper Grigger, a Copper Raja, man. Uh, no, even that's the only Dragon type in this set, which is quick crazy. Anything else? That stupid bird that nobody likes. And then here's that alternate artwork card. Some of them are gonna be quite quite good to get. Um, definitely that one's gonna be really nice to pull. Um, hmm, who else would be nice to get? Um, the magic cart would be nice to get too. The shopping cart ones would be nice as well. Any of the others that are, are quite cool. Sandy Gas is quite adorable as well, that's cool. Tyranitar would be nice to get too. Tauros, it's the old Star Wars cards that are going to be the ones that everybody really wants. And you get yourself your full art here. Then you get the proper alternate artwork cards, these are like the best ones. There's the card you really want to go after, but the main one is that one here. That's the most pr precious card in the set. 
which I think it shouldn't really be. It shouldn't really be at all. And then you have yourself the gold cards right here. There's an unlisted leaf energy here, a water energy, and an energy retrieval fishing rod as well. And these guys, quite cool. Uh, not bad. It's a not bad set, but really not really worth my time. It's a big set. That's what I can tell you, though. It's a massive set, but when it comes to a big set, there's quant there's quantity, but not really quality, which is a bit of a bummer. But here is the promo card that started it all for Scout and Violet in Tokyo, Japan. Well, in Japan altogether. And there it is. And it's number 27 for the United Kingdom, which I think is ridiculous. This should have been number one, but whatever. You get yourself your nice sleeves. I'm going to put them to the side because I'll be using them on my own. And you get yourself three, six, nine booster packs of possibly all double holographics. Let's find out. Let's try and get something absolutely insane. There is your code. And it's gone. Next card. Fire Energy. Let's go. Wingle. Panko. Meryl. Monkey. Flamego. A Bombarder. Skiploom. Drone. Panko. And there we go. Already a, a freaking hot, not standard hollow. But still though, we this is the first time we opened up this set properly, so the hollow rares are going to be good to pull at the moment in time, but later on, they're going to be absolutely worthless. Next card, Darkness Energy, okay. Uh, Tadbolt. Okay, come on, let's see if we can get something good. Oh, we got King Julian! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it! Oh, come on. It doesn't work in these sets, it really doesn't, which is a shame. Uh, that one is a Yu Gi Oh sleeve, okay. This one's nice and glittery, I like that. Oh, nice. That's nice and glittery now. Oh, very cute. Very nice. Okay. Come on. Here's your code, and it's gone. One! Unless the leaf energy, this could be an omen. Daybird, Rod, Love Desk, Snova, Palsan, Raichu, Dallybird, Trainer. Oh, the, oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? I've already got this one. Oh, that is so annoying. I haven't even opened up hardly any of this set, and this is the only one I actually pulled. Oh, that sucks. God damn it. <laughs> Oh man, never mind. Let's keep this rolling. Here we go. Move on. Next card, Lightning Energy. Okay. Uh, this, that card better not be the only one I ever get in this in this box because I'll be so disappointed. Snova, Shinx, and a Tyranitar. Okay. Next pack. Code. Gone. Next card. Psychic Energy. Fletcherling. Voltzor. Clava. Noiva. Gaffatel. Trainer. Mokurita. Oh, baby! Woo! We get the a full on freaking ultimate artwork! Let's go! Oh my god, that is a weird omen! We get the standard one, and then we get the best one! Oh my god, that is a pure ultimate artwork card! Finally! We get something amazing out of Scarlet and Violet sets! Oh my god, let's go! We got GU EX alternate artwork. O M F G to the max. Let's go. Oh my god. Holy mother of duck. Let's go. Oh my god. And then you have this thing. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. We get alternate artwork out of an elite trainer box. That is godly. I have no idea how much that one's worth, but it should be worth at least the price for the Elite Trainer Box. 
Possibly not, because like you guys know, the most expensive car set is worth 30 pounds. That's what I've been told. But holy God, that is a hell of a pull. Oh my God, finally a great pull. Keep this rolling. Oh, let's go! Another car, another cameo altar. Let's keep this rain rolling. Finally, it's giving us something. Is it actually apologizing to me saying, I tell you what, you've, you've read through it all. You've got a lot of crap. You're gonna get something good. Have a pie roll. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep this rolling. Fight energy. Oh my god. Finally, two big, big, big hits. I'll take them any day. Tyler Flame. Blue. Oh, we got Pikachu! This is going to be the best one to pull out of the EX stuff. This is going to be the one that's going to be worth money. I know this because it's the Pikachu mascot itself. This is going to be the best one to pull. Let's go. That is amazing. What a pull indeed. What a pull. Keep this rolling. This bot, this Elite Trainer Box was the best one to open up. OMFG to the max. I am so happy. Let's keep that growing. Come on, we've got two packs left. Can we get anything else? Darkness Energy, let this train roll in. It started off bad, can it end off with a big high now? This has been really, really good now. Slowpoke, Leo, and a Luxray, very nice. We'll put that in the yellow one. Final pack magic, can we end it off with a big hollow, not a standard hollow? Whether it's an EX, a trainer, Full art, alternate artwork, anything would be absolutely amazing right now. Psychic energy. Pikachu! Coffins, Krogan, Rookity, Flamingo. What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Tauros, Haunch Crow, Fanica, and a Valooza. Okay. Very nice. I like that. So, OMFG to the max, people. That is one hell of an elite trainer box. Any reverse royal resin here? I don't think there was. Nope, not a single reverse royal rare, which is perfectly fine. So here they all are. Pretty much all the same stuff that you mainly see. And then for holo rares of the day, people, of the day, holy mother of God. This has been unbelievable. Really has been unbelievable. It really has. So for the holo rares of the day, here's the standard hollows. Then you have yourself your EXs, Chi Yu EX. Pikachu EX, then you have the Pikachu Full Art promo card, then we get Pyro Com uh, Cameo Alternate Artwork, and then we have the main Alternate Artwork card, Chiyu EX. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, people are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year. If you guys can get that done, I'd absolutely appreciate every single one of you. And if you do, I'll be shaving every inch of my body completely bald. So if you guys want to see me completely bald, make sure you subscribe. It will help out a lot of people because I'll be donating all the hair to charity. With that being said, the people army salute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! OMFG to the max! Finally, another month over, and another God Pack ring done again! Let's go! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!